Okay. Can I get back to saying what I was saying earlier? There are two... There are two things... 32 zombies for me! You shouldn't have! Oh my god, I can't tell. Oh my god, there is. Ugh. Surround sound headphones, guys. Terrifying, but incredibly useful. Okay. Zombies appear to be a converging upon my position. Uh, uh. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Ready? Flare. Distract the zombies! Go to the flare! Look at that glowing red ball! Zombie, look Look at the glowing red ball! Oh my god. Come on! Zombie! Zombie! Don't make me kill you. Damage. Get a sneaky ranger zombie. No! I'm what? Oh, that was horrible. Mother of dragons. Okay. No, I'm checking this area out. I don't give a hornet's nest. <laughs> I don't give a hornet's nest. Oh, Danish. You're so PG, Danish. I love it. I love it. Watching zombies just consume your brains and you say, Oh, hornet's nest. I don't swear, but I show you videos of really gory things. Alright. A pair of defense. And my butt was halfway through. Oh. Be very, very quiet. I should have probably done that in a different accent. No! Climb upstairs, you zombie! What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? Walk into my gun. I'm sorry, did that hurt? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sarcasm! Alright. Got a jerry tank up here. That's gonna be useful. Or a jerry can, rather. It's gonna be useful if we actually find a car. Nothing over here. Let's, instead of climbing up there, let's check out what's over there from here. Just cans. Okay. So this farmhouse is a complete and utter waste. Not all farmhouses will be like this. Nothing there. I think I'm running low on ammo. That's not good. Okay. Now that we have gone to the farmhouse, there's a little long building right here. And I think the bicycle should be over here somewhere. Let there be a bicycle here! Ma, no, I just want to see a bicycle. Why do you have to? <sighs> Come on. Come on. Don't tell me. Don't. Yes. Enter. Enter the dragon. Really sad. Really sad. Really sad. I don't know what's sad. Someone died in that, didn't they? Enter the dragon. Did he just say that hurts? Are these zombies intelligent? Uh oh. Have we been killing intelligent beings this whole time? <laughs> Whoops. I'm sorry for that incredibly annoying sound. I also want to apologize for my random feminine screams. I hear that they actually rip your ears out because at certain points I'm incredibly quiet and then <laughs> I'll just rip a loud one. I did not mean a fart there. Though I do rip loud farts, I pride myself on my ability to fart.
My f 48 zombies to take care of one dude. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Alright, so I don't believe there's a bicycle here. It usually spawns there. So we're gonna walk around. And one thing to else to remember, just because the bicycle or something is supposed to spawn there doesn't mean that it will. I I say that it, I say that it will, but that that it it doesn't mean that it will. So don't expect things to be there. Did you actually? Oh, you dirty man. You dirty, dirty man. Dirty, dirty man. All right. Man, I wanted to do things this episode. I want to achieve stuff. This this is every episode. I achieve nothing. I just had to, I just walk around and kill things. Ugh. Okay. All right, no, I'm not going to get frustrated. I'm not. I'm better than that. Oh, man. 48 zombies. Zygor, no! Oh. Oh. Oh, no. I just keep, keep switching back between my, like, three or four clips. Oh, Zygor. No, Zygor! Okay. We're going to sneak out the back. All right. Oh, didn't work. Didn't work. Get through a tight door. Get Oh, walk through the tight door, zombie. What the hell? Where's he going? You gotta walk through the door, buddy. Ah, oh, what? Teleportation! Oh, God. Teleportation. Teleportation! Ain't no Star Trek in this. Oh, my. Uh, what just happened? What is... Okay. All right. It's okay. It's fine. I have cooked meat. I'm just going to gobble some of these large chunks and continue with my journey. <sighs> okay. It's all right. It's fine. Can I leave here now, or am I going to get mauled again? I've killed so many zombies. Alright. We're going to sneak around here. See if there be a car. Actually, you know what? I should probably go in here. You can actually find some large weapons in here. And it's not just Lee Enfields. You can actually find some sniper weapons in here. So make sure you check out these long houses. I don't know exactly what they were used for before. Maybe pig pig styes? Maybe? Pig sty? Pig sty? Let's see if we find anything in here. I don't believe we will. Oh man! Are you serious? Three bars! Three bars of visibility. Okay, we're out of here. We're going to the pumpkin patch. No one can find us there. Oh. Stealth just has not worked out for me today. Oh, oh my god. I like to. Oh! Oh, jeez. I just want to find a car. I just want to drive away. Now I need to play something for need for from Need for Speed. Oh no! No! Don't hop over the fence. That is the last. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, if that kills me, if that is what does, does me in, it's going to be that. It's going to be that. I'm bleeding out. Get back to an enclosed area. Oh, yes, that's an enterable home. Oh, my God. This has been the least productive day of all time.
Oh, they can run into homes now! You're okay, you're okay, buddy. Just breathe slow, deep breaths. We have meat. We have meat. Though we need more. We need a lot more. Yeah, you just numb on that. Instantly regenerates so much health. Alright. And now the zombies, they have us trapped in the house. Apparently, they can enter buildings much more quickly. I had not realized that. I can't tell if that's a glitch or if that's programmed. If it's programmed, it's good, right? Because, you know, it makes the game way more challenging. But, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I want to live. Oh, hello. That's right. I'm a marksman these painkillers so I don't wobble when I shoot. Okay. It's time to again flee. It's time let's... Oh! What? Now that is an annoying glitch. I am not trying to run. Oh, for God's sake. Um, okay, I'm stuck between uh, a fence and a hard place. And I just had a fence poke me in my butt. All right, excellent. This is going lovely. No, no, sprint! Ah, oh, zombies! I just want to be your friends. Why do you hate me so? Better question. Why does it take forty zombies to fight me? Hey, <laughs> hey, hop the fence. Try and catch me now, suckers. Try and catch him in that. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. I am starting to feel that feeling you get when you make a mistake. You know that feeling, right? And you know that death is imminent? Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's okay. Oh man, they are hungry. Oh, listen to that. That just does not sound healthy. Uh. Whoa, chill, chill, bro. What do you need? What do you want? What can I get you? How many we got? Just one? That's fine. We're gonna run him around a little bit. I'm gonna pop him in the head. After I hop this fence. Oh, snap! What's a zombie to do? What? No! Why do you want my flesh so badly? <laughs> Oh, all right. Time to check out another vehicle location. <laughs> this is going horribly. I am very thankful I picked up that Makarov because I feel like I would be, you know, not exactly screwed, but I'd be screwed. Let's drink from our water bottle because there's a nice, nice little location over here. Where I can fill her up. Will the zombies hunt me, though? That's the question. Because apparently they can easily see me from quite a distance now. Peek over there. I, I don't think I can see the car from here. Don't exactly remember. I think it should be actually in the field. Uh, drat. So no vehicle over here. This is just going wonderfully. This is just going so well. Empty map, and there are no vehicles anywhere. Can't it tell I deserve it? Can't the system detect that I have suffered enough? That my dignity is no longer intact? That I am stepping in water when I'm in grass? Am I just being a fool? Yes. Yes, I am. All right. That's all filled up. And zombies, naturally, attracted to the sound of splashing water. Like that makes any sense. Well, I guess it does, but... Just 
leave me alone. 37. Alright. No. Why am I stepping on water? It's ground. Uh, <laughs> come on. I just want a bicycle. I just want to ride all my misery away. My blood levels are incredibly low now. Alright, I think it's time we go hunting again. I think it's time we hunt for some some live edible items of eating. I see something in the distance. But can I eat it? That's the real question. I wish there was like berry picking in this game. I feel like that would add a lot of a lot of awesome flavors, and I'm really excited. I know I've talked about it quite often, but the standalone version. I also apologize if you're watching this six to eight months in the future, and the standalone has been released. You know, it could have crashed, it could have burned. I could no longer be doing Daisy videos. Actually, it's a great question. What's going to happen in six to eight months? Ooh, predictions. I predict that Daisy, the War Z, and Daisy, the standalone will be going head to head with their own unique features. And I think that just because that uh, Daisy has been out in the market a little bit longer and will actually get to have the respect, I guess, of the players already, it'll probably do better than the War Z. Though the War Z does have some unique ideas. But what I would really love to see in these games if they expand on them and make them bigger is I'd love to see for uh, the ability to form squads and to have leadership roles and technical roles in combat and not just in combat but in the game like I would love to see a sort of game transition into sort of fallout can you imagine if you know you have hundreds some odd people on a server and a bunch of them work for like a mercenary group. You can have a little village built by mercenaries and you can just go in and there they can be like people selling things that you can buy from. Trading items. Everyone invents a currency of canned food. That seems really interesting to me. That's something I would play. Is that edible or is that a bush? It's a bush. Gosh darn it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We will continue. I think that would be, uh, back to what I was saying earlier, I think that would be absolutely sweet. I would love that to death. Just an ability to really uh, mess with the system and allow for us to actually become more organized. And I think it's sort of, you know, I, I want to see a sort of, oh, what's the game? EVE Online. I really want to see something like that for this because I think EVE Online is a great idea. I tried to play EVE, I am not that good with the game because I am not that spreadsheet oriented, which is what the game entirely is, right? You're playing with spreadsheets, unless you're a part of a mercenary group or something like that, but if you're part of a company and you're making cash, it's a lot of, you know, business stuff. So that aspect, you know, it doesn't uh, exactly appeal to me, but the idea that you can create like a community-based game a game solely based on the amount of work that the community puts into it is something that's really amazing. Something that would be really fun to play in, right? Can you imagine joining a company and then having your job be uh, a mercenary, let's say, and you have to capture and hold some sort of object objective? And what happens is another mercenary group decides to attack and take over that objective. That would be sweet. That'd be so much fun. And I think one thing that a lot of people actually don't realize about Arma 2 is that this game is supposed to be the most realistic military simulator. So when people play this game, they play it. Now, of course, I apologize to all the people who actually play Arma 2. This is going to be like, and they play it seriously. This is not going to be very valuable. But uh, I've watched the game being played, and, you know, it is actually really intense. It's a lot of coordination. It's a lot of actual legitimate teamwork and it's realistic right the game was meant to be realistic it was meant to challenge you in realistic ways not it's not a call of duty you don't instantly respawn and get to kill over and over and over again 
and all the snipers run around no scoping everything while all the people with assault rifles find a nice corner to camp in and kill everyone who walks past that's that's not what this game is this game is you get into a group you spend two hours planning a mission you drive out into the middle of an area and you get ambushed and you have to fight off the ambush and continue stuff like that and i think if they could transition it into some uh sort of zombie apocalypse game make it user based community based and actually be able to have a community develop really all the content even and just you just you give by giving them the ability to form communities to maybe build up barricades build up barriers and like walls give them some of those things and i think you're just going to see one of the most amazing games of this this decade because of course this game while groundbreaking is really and is really fun you know it it is really solo based you can work as a team there is no denial that you can work as a team and you can achieve a lot as a team but you know there's a lot of things that you really want to be able to do with a group of people that you just can't it's just simply impossible with this game so there's my there's my two cents and my dreams and inspirations and desires for the standalone I really want to see a really nice community-based game because it would just be it would just be lulzy. Of course, I know I myself would join like a a really a really pathetic mercenary group and we would be the guys who just like get wasted against the walls of a, a really fortified defensive structure. <laughs> they were we're the peons. They send us in to just, you know, waste the enemy's ammunition. <laughs> That's always what I've been good for. I've, I was always the distraction. For those of you who are not aware, I actually played competitive. Oh, man. I'm just trying to hop a fence. Ignore me. I just stood up, man. Jesus. No, stop hopping fences. You are imagining them, sir. Okay, you can hop this one. Ow. That hurt. It hurts, man. Uh, what was I saying earlier before I attracted this gigantic horde? How many zombies are there? Can you guys, like, take a break? Don't you have part-time jobs? Jesus freaking Christ. Oh! Bucket! Bucket! Into the area! Oh, of course. Oh, of course. No. Buzz off. No big. He's just 31 zombies all over the freaking place. I'm just going to continue running. I'm just going to run. There, I'm just going to run. How many do I have on me? Just, just a couple. Just a couple. It's fine. Keep running. I was saying something probably important, but I forgot. Are you... Oh, man. I think I'm going to have to switch my macro soon. But I see an interval area. Thankfully, I believe, though doorways don't appear to distract and disorient zombies as much as before, I think stairs are still pretty effective against them. They're super effective, in fact, so... And they walk through fences. See, that is not fair. That is not fair. I feel like fences... They should block something. Alright. Get up the stairs. Oh, man! He glitched the side! No! No! What the hell? Did I not kill you? Okay. It's fine. 